presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Oh, look who oh it's a beautiful thing. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taken by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good, man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven and a half hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. I love doing this card of Friday, folks. This is, get, we get two or three days to think, which is a beautiful thing. Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. You can have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon an idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 32, NASDAQ up 38, S&P's up 3, gold contract up $12.70, trading at 1753 an ounce. Silver up 87 cents, $17.03 an ounce, light sweet crude. Up 196, $29.52 a barrel notes and bonds. You get the 10 year down three ticks, trading 139.10, the 30 year off 23 ticks at 180.29, and King Dollar. King Dollar down 55 ticks, trading 100.412. The Euro is out here at a 108, the Yen is at 107.32, and the British Pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world. And the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Okay, so you've had a sideways market out here, folks. Uh, what you've actually been doing is that we've been going into uh, the Tuesday downdraft. Okay, we've been kind of in this consolidation uh, since Wednesday. Uh, well, well, Tuesday, uh, you did a nice pop higher. Uh, that being said, then you smash down. That's when you had a major failure inside the, the indices at 1030 in the morning. You got to a lower low last night. Pops all the way back topside again. What I expect we're going to see uh, right now, you get the indices slightly in the green. I suspect we're going to be slightly in the red as we come into this close because all we've been doing is bumping against the top of this a resistance area and your volume is dying on the vine each time where we're basically up here. The last uh, downdraft, little downdraft that was uh, established out here at 2.30, uh, that's where you had the S&Ps uh, basically go down uh, 14 uh, bucks in about, uh, uh, you know, uh, five minutes. That, that's how this market's been trading anyway. You got a high VIX out here. Uh, the movement uh, is very large. There's no two ways about that. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Bottom line, gold's in an ABC structure on the way up. You get a price projection out here of 1821 to 1825. Um, you get follow through out here today. You get 191,000 contracts. Big, big number. No two ways about that. Yesterday, I believe we did 200 and something thousand. Yeah, we did 213 yesterday. Uh, your last high out here is the uh, 1788. And if we, at the bottom line, you could have a much larger ABC structure on the way up too. And if that's what we get, uh, you're going to see gold at all time highs. Silver, silver finally caught the bid, folks. And uh, silver, you're up 87 cents. You're at $17 and three pennies. Uh, this is blowing away the B point. Has the volume behind the move. Uh, it is a monster move too. The B point on this is 1650. The A point is uh, 1160. Uh, so you get five bucks, and that br bring you uh, up to approximately the $20 area. The last high out here was $19. So let's take this SI1, and I'll put this on the continuous contract, and we take a look at it. And what you're seeing now, okay, so I want to bring this back. Let's say, 
bring this back a little, lot further so I can see where we are. Okay, so yeah, it's going to the top of the range. I mean, this, not, ooh, this is cool, man. Even the top of this range, I have to bring it back 10 years. So the top of this range was only 1970. Ah, I see where we're going. Okay. Nice. Okay, so the silver contract, 2016, the high was $21 and nine pennies. That's where we're going. That's where this thing is going to shake out. And we'll see whether it can blow that away. If you can blow that away, then you are going to see a run in silver that uh, is going to be uh, hold on for the ride. Uh, some of the silver equities, they're performing in a, in a monster way. You got uh, Pan American Silver. Pan American Silver is an ABC structure on the way up. Took out its B point. This is a big number, too. Uh, the B point on silver is $22.90. Uh, we've blown that away today. We needed 5.3 million. You already got 6, 5.6 million. So you got 20, uh, that's approximately 23. Yeah, you got, that's a big one, man. 20, so you get 12 bucks. That's saying that Pan American Silver wants to go to 32, and right now you're only at 24. Let me see what's at 32. Oh, look at this. I see. This is even a larger ABC. 32. Yeah, this is on its way. The, the, the highs in, two, in 2011 are 43. The lows of that same bar is 34. So that thing is taken off like a rocket ship. Heckler Gold, Heckler Mining, rather, same setup. Heckler's blowing away its B point out here. Um, the B point on Heckler, uh, $2.76 here, 2 96 We needed a volume of uh, 11 million. You already got 13 million. The B point on Heckler is 2 76 Your A point is a uh, buck 40. Well, no, let me do it this way. I want to go that. 276. Yeah, so you get a full buck. That brings you to uh, 330, and you get the, the, the highs up here at 345. Uh, bottom line is that that baby wants to go. You got to take a look at um, First Majestic. First Majestic, uh, that B point up there was 870, and uh, this did it. Now, this, this had a heck of a run. It's already up 10% today. This is another ABC structure on the way up. You get uh, 870, six cents. So that's two bucks. That gives you 920. You're at 870. Uh, the, the bottom line is that they're all moving with price as well as conviction. Uh, if you haven't test driven yet, the gold report, folks, check it out. Go over to the TFNN. You can get it for 30 days absolutely free. Uh, this run is in place, folks. That's the real bottom line. Uh, if we go take a look at some of the gold equities, you're going to see they're doing ABC structures up too. Uh, an Eco Eagle first, we take a look at. Uh, an Eco's taking its swing points out. Uh, let's see, this is 66, that's good, it's nine bucks. And so that gets you a price projection of 71, you're at 68. The uh, Newmont Mining, man, this thing is on fire. Uh, Newmont uh, broke a B point yesterday of another ABC structure on the way up. That's at $67.68. And this baby right now is going for its all time highs out here of $70. You're right next to them. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading uh, up nine. NASDAQ is up 37. S&P's a flat. We'll come right back. Folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. 
The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Larry Pesavento is hosting a special event Thursday, May 21st from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Trade what you see, a live trading event. For the first time in over 10 years, Larry will host a live event where you'll watch over his shoulder as he trades the markets live. You'll see how he organizes his trading day, the times most likely to generate a signal, what outside information he ignores, and more importantly, what he does not ignore, and much more. Larry will trade the market markets in real time, including the Euro US dollar, pound dollar, dollar yen, the Dow, and E-mini S&P, crude oil, gold, treasury bonds, wheat, and soybeans, and more. When you sign up, you get a month of his daily newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7 included. For all the details on Larry Pesavento's live trading event on Thursday, May 21st, and to sign up today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now uh, up 33. NASDAQ is up 40. S&Ps are up 2.5. Let's get a mic in Tampa. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Pretty good there, Tom. How you doing? Good, thank you. So what are we going to look at today? Well, I'm looking at ICAD. Um, I was in it, wrote it up, to, got out of 12. I want to get back in. Okay, so let's I take... don't really see an ABC down on it, but... Uh, let's I'm take a look. The... So you get ICAD. This is uh, provides advanced breast, uh, breast cancer detection and radiation therapy solutions. The lows 537, the highs 15. That's the last 12 months. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, so I see. So you got, that's nice. Okay. What I would do, Mike, is I, I don't, there's not an ABC down, but this, what this is trying to do, and the volume's contracted as it's going into it. It's trying to get back yeah. to its breakout area. So. Which is where, right? At $9. Nine dollars. Nine twenty-five. That's how I look at it. Now, watch what happens here. This is cool because you get two little swing, well, you get the breakout area. Then you get this little swing right. here uh, at 10.03. Now see what's happening here. So this is pulling back, folks, okay, with really light volume. There's 163,000 shares here today. You're going into 209, and you're going into the breakout area of 750. That's, I always like that because what happens is that you can see the contraction in volume already. So mm -hmm. I, I suspect it's still going to get to the little swing point, which is 10.03. And then yeah. what, what I would do is this. I would gauge that thing. If it closes under 1003, your probability is pretty good. It's going to go to the nine. Gotcha. If, if it just lays at 1003 and gets before it, maybe you leg into it. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, Got it. And, you know, that, and that's depending on, you know, what that S&P is doing, too, because the biotechs are running, there's no doubt, but the S&P has got to still be strong to get these babies to go. But this is acting right. like, you know, you're gonna, gonna have a consolidation. The consolidation would be from that $9, you know, probably up to the 12 bucks again, you know. Cause it's right. gonna take, a, see, it's gonna take a lot to get through what happened here in March. You know, right. it's gonna take a few times to get up to that level. But this is, this um, is. I got a question. Uh, we're looking at another one, INSG, there a couple weeks ago. Yeah. It confirmed the ABC down, right? But then it's just not getting to that level. How patient do you, if they confirm with a lot of volume passing the B point, 
it just wait it out? Yeah, or? you gotta wait it out, man. Don't don't mess with these. Thank. Okay? Really? <laughs> yeah, the probability <laughs> is always pretty good. Yeah, and this is dangerous. The reason this is dangerous, right? So you broke the B point. You broke it with volume, and that's what he's talking about. Okay, it hasn't done anything yet. But do you see how it hasn't given you? like a positive or a negative, but it's laying right next to getting under its trading range, into a whole new trading range. Huh. Th that $9.64, if it gets down right. there, then, you know, you really got to watch out, man. This thing could basically, you know, you get into a different trading range, it's, it's a problem. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I, w right. I would not be biting on this, man. Because when yeah, you would have got... I don't want to miss it on the way up, though, because I was in, got a, got a good profit, and... Oh, yeah. I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to flip around. I mean, hit out, head back up, but just be patient. Got I, it. I know, I know. <laughs> it's wicked, isn't it? <laughs> All right, thanks. Have a thanks, great one, Tom. Man. Have a great weekend, okay? You, you too, man. Have a safe one. It, right. You know, right. th th that's a great conversation because it is wicked, folks. There's no doubt. When you've already got an inequity, you know, you get... in, in some equities I've traded for like two or three years in a row. So I understand what he's saying. You kind of get to know their personality. You get in the equity, he did really well the first time. You're waiting for the second one. He knows that ABC strikes it down. And it's like, but you also know that you're dealing with a $7 stock that goes to you know $12. So your potential and profit is astronomical, folks, because what does happen on smaller stocks like that, you know, dollar-wise, they come into your account a lot faster. Let's go to John in Orlando. Hey, John, what's going on? Hey, Tom, good afternoon to you. How you doing, man? Good, good. Uh, I got in yesterday uh, into uh, Novavax, okay. NVAX. Yeah, let's take a look. So this is a, this is a biotech company, all-time highs today. Uh, this went from $3.54 up to 46 bucks in the last 12 months. So what are you going to do now? Well, I got some profit in it. I would like to ride because they got the second approval, emergency approval by the FDA, the second round. Okay. For the for the vaccine, so you think how you know just a, a gamble, I guess. That would be correct. That would yeah. be correct. Um, yep, yep. Yeah, that's that's. I can tell you right now that. What this just did, okay, so this must have, when this came out, folks, it must have came out uh, Monday night, right? Tuesday, Monday night it was trading at $24.60. Tuesday, it went up to $44.94. Now, just let me show you something here, okay? So, you had the monster gap. You did volume there, $74 million. Today, you went over that price. You're going to close underneath it. That's a failure in price and volume. So, okay, I got you. I got you. you know, and I, listen, you can still have a, you know, the stock could be fireworks. There's no doubt about that. But it's really dangerous. I, I would not stay over the weekend with this. There's, you know, because when you get gaps this big, you know, that's a, you know, <laughs> that's a gap from what, $24 to $36. And, you, you yeah. know, it's telling you there's no more buyers up at this point. And you can see why. So yeah, yeah. you get four okay. bucks, man. I, let me ask you one other question. Uh, are you uh, still uh, thinking of the S and P down to twenty six, sixty two? I think you told me last time. I am, and I'll show you. Yeah. So this is pretty cool, folks. Okay, because the Dow did this yesterday. The Dow actually, this is where the Dow rejected lower price. They reject it rejected lower price at the April seventh area, which sets up with that number that I gave you. Um, and the S&P, and right. that, you know, and you can see the Dow rejected it in spades because you were going into 1.4 billion uh, yesterday and when we rejected that lower price, yeah, look at this, you did 1.1 billion yesterday and April 7th, there it is, 1.56 billion we did. You know, so the indices are set up differently, uh, but I suspect that that S&P wants to go the same way too, so. Okay, all right. Cooking, Thank man. You. Have a good weekend. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. The um, and so the let me just bring that S and P up so I can show you again. Actually, you know what's so cool? I can do both of them. I'm going to bring the Dow Industrials, and then I can compare that with the S P X, so you can see what I'm talking about. T 
together. So the, the Dow, folks, is the um, white line. The SPX is the yellow. And what you're going to see is that the area where I have my cursor is the 7th of April. And you can see that the S&P is nowhere near that, where the Dow Industrials came right into that area, rejected it. And the reason that my take is that we're coming back into that area on all the indices, that's your breakout area. And that's a normal occurrence that when you get expansions that you're going higher, you get wide price spread, which we got on the way up. When markets get higher, they like going back to the breakout area. And then if you get the rejection, which we did in the Dow, the bottom line, then that wants higher. 877-927-6648. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN has developed a daily programming lineup for traders by traders. We start every trading day live at 8.30 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien hosting the morning market kickoff as he starts the day off by breaking down everything you need to know about what's going on for the trading day ahead. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento takes your calls and questions live on the air for the opening bell as he hosts Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the Bull Bear Trading Hour. At 11 a.m., it's Kevin Hanks and Alex Coffey from TD Ameri Trade Network with Fast Market, Basil Chapman at noon with the Tiger Technicians Hour, Steve Rhodes hosts the Trader's Edge at 1 p.m., Dave White with the Power Trading Hour at 2 p.m., and Tom O'Brien closes out the day for the final hour of trading live from 3 till 4. Don't miss a second of our daily programming lineup. Tune in to Tiger TV every trading day live at TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 42. Nasdaq's up 52. S&P's up 4.5. Let's go to Chip in Winter Park. Hey, Chip, what's going on? Yeah, hi, Tom. How you doing? Tom? Great, man. Yourself? Yeah, yeah, good, good. Good. I listed what's... Um uh, okay, Myrna, I got a question on MRNA. Okay. I, in I mean, I, I heard you guys talk about the uh, NVAX. Now I'm worried about this uh, MRNA. I got in at 28.95. So you think that's another one? I think I, you think I should not hold it over the weekend too, or just. Well, let's take think? a look at this. this. You know what's so crazy about this, Chip, is that in the break I saw it coming across from my producer. I brought it up as his own no, <laughs> for meaning that. So what happens 
you know, picture this, folks. When we get when we get a huge amount of um, gold calls, okay, it gets very close to the top. When, like, what's, what's happening here is that now this is the second biotech call, and it's set up the same way, Chip. So I, I understand what you're saying. So let's go through it. So my my point is, when that happens, is that yeah, that's when you normally get very close to tops. So the low for this for the year is eleven dollars and fifty four cents. The high is sixty eight. This has been on fire. There's no doubt. You have it at 28, which is just phenomenal. So let's first see where we're at. Okay, I'm gonna put this on a. It's a one-way shot, so it's not. It's pretty intense. Well, what you what this is what, what's going on. You don't have where. NVAX, okay, had a failure in price and volume. The reason for that is that it had gapped higher, and when you get a failure in price and volume, it means that you have gone over the high, you close under the high after basically a long run, right? So this one here hasn't made it up there today yet, okay? Uh, what you did do, last time you get up there, it's not that bad. You know, the, the other side of this, when is the last time that you had an equity that you've you're up a hundred percent and yeah no and let's see in six weeks couple of weeks yeah yeah it's been a long time yeah maybe put a stop put a stop loss on it maybe or i don't know i mean i don't know we got a hundred shares but okay so the other way of thinking of this right is that if you took off if you sold 50 shares yeah you have all your money back. Let it ride. Let plus, it. plus you got okay, twenty five percent profit. Seven fourteen twenty. Yeah. So, you, you can sell fifty shares. You okay. have all your principal back. Plus, you made twenty five percent on that, and then just let this baby baby run. That's yeah. like. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, yeah. That's a good theory. Yeah, I like that. Anyway, you got my principal saved, and then let it ride. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. All right, great. Thanks a lot. Tom. Okay, Have a man. Weekend. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. That's that's quite an incredible trade, folks. Okay, bought it at twenty eight, and I can see the tw the twenty eight, the twenty. Look at this, the twenty, the twenty eight. He's bought it somewhere down. I don't know, April first or something, maybe April first, April second, somewhere around there. Um, yeah, and he'll sell fifty. That. And just on all overall, he still makes 25% on his money and owns, owns 50 shares. Okay, 13 Fs are out. Let's go take a look at this. Uh, GLD. So the 13 Fs, folks, what they are is that that shows where the larger funds have placed themselves as of March 31st. Now, it doesn't mean that they still own the equities when we look at them, or, you know, because. That just the filing is always 45 days later. I like to go through these because what you what you do get, particularly when I've been doing this for so long, the, you get an idea of where the larger funds are going because the larger funds take a long time to get into equities. They take a long time to get out of them. There's something real intriguing with the GLD though. Let me show you this. This is this is unusual, but I can totally understand why. So. When I'm looking at the GLD, what I've done first is this, okay? When you're looking in the right-hand column, you're looking for the buyers, and you can see BlackRock was the biggest, okay? But that's got, BlackRock's going to be the biggest because they have so many funds. So their, their clients are buying them. Then you go down. So where I always go first, really, is I want to know who are the sellers. So when I go to the seller, the first one I see up here is Fidelity, and that's like, oh, no, not Fidelity. Because when Fidelity comes in or out of any equity, um, if they're coming in, it's heaven. If they're going out, it's hell. But now watch this. I hit, this is a different, it's the same Fidelity, but this is Fidelity International. Okay, so what this is, this is out of the UK. I believe it's out of the UK. Where are we? Yeah, if this is the same, okay. So this is out of the UK. This is Fidelity in the UK. Now, I can totally see why inside portfolios they are selling because, watch this, folks. When you take the only, the only currency that gold is not at all-time highs is the US dollar. So what I'm going to do for you here, right, I'm going to show you, so picture you get Fidelity International, right? You're dealing with the British pound. So as they're buying for their clients, what has happened, they're buying the US equities, they're buying it with British pounds. 
Well, they're taking British pounds and then putting them to U.S. dollars because that's the only way you can do it. But what's so cool about this is that I'm going to take this currency and I'm going to turn around and put it into a pound. And when you see the type of expansion that this has got because of the fact that the dollar keeps getting stronger and the pound keeps getting weaker, well, the all-time high in 2011, which is the all-time highs in the United States in gold, this was $116. Okay, 116 pounds rather. Well, this here now is 135 pounds. It's a monster move, okay? So I suspect what they're looking at is that, hey, listen, we made a huge amount of bread here because you, 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 what you're doing is that they're in the gold market, and they're in the gold market, and they were in the gold market with British pounds. Um, huge score. So you can, you can see, to me, I can see why they moved that out. Uh, another place we want to go, and you're going to see why why Newmont is just a monster out here, is that you have the monsters buying Newmont. Newmont has been on a tear for, and in fact, Newmont is one of the first ones that took out the uh, whole consolidation. And you're going to see uh, bottom line right at the very top, State Street. Another 11 million they bought Van Eck. They bought the, the, these these granted State Street as well as Van Eck. Okay, uh, both in the fund market, so that would be the retailers buying, coming into it, uh, big time. Fidelity, now this is Fidelity in the USA, buyers, okay, bottom line, 5.9 million more shares. They own 2.8% of it now. Norges Bank, uh, okay, so Norges is the one, folks, that we're going to have to really watch closely going forward because Norges Bottom line is going to be selling 38, 38 billion of their portfolio. Now it's a trillion dollar portfolio, but Norges is in just about every sector. It, it is in every sector in the marketplace. Um, you will see where that shakes out. Um, another one that I really like that's in here: uh, Renaissance Technology. Most folks understand Renaissance is the most successful hedge fund there is out there. Uh, they've always liked the gold market. They've always been in it. They're, they're probably in every market too, but they're always been in it. But they're buyers also. Uh, Boston Partners, I'm not sure who that is there. They, they were buyers. Um, you, get some, you get some heavy buying in that metals market, folks. And what, what does uh, end up happening as you go into that, they buy, buy, buy. You get success going, they come back in again, and guess what? We're not the only ones that has uh, Bloomberg out here. Uh, the bottom line is that you start getting used to seeing if the larger funds are going in, then, you know, another fund saying, okay, man, I'm getting into this. Dow, Dow down 17, NASDAQ's up 39, S&P's a flat, we'll come right back. Larry Pesavento is hosting a special event Thursday, May 21st from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Trade What You See, a live trading event. For the first time in over 10 years, Larry will host a live event where you'll watch over his shoulder as he trades the markets live. You'll see how he organizes his trading day, the times most likely to generate a signal, what outside information he ignores, and more importantly, what he does not ignore, and much more. Larry will trade the market in real time, including the Euro US dollar, pound dollar, dollar yen, the Dow, and E mini SP, crude oil, gold, treasury bonds, wheat, and soybeans, and more. When you sign up, you get a month of his daily newsletter, Fibonacci 24 7 included. For all the details on Larry Pesavento's live trading event on Thursday, May 21st, and to sign up today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. 
New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 50. Nasdaq's uh, up 30. S&Ps are off three and a half. And, folks, don't forget, uh, the bottom line is that uh, uh, every trading day, of course, uh, we start out at uh, 8.30 in the morning, go to 4 in the afternoon. Now, you can get all this programming uh, right on YouTube. Uh, the easiest way to do it is you go to YouTube, you put TFNN. Uh, in there, it'll pop up. You can subscribe. It doesn't cost any money. Right on your cell phone. Check it out. We really do appreciate all you tigers and tigresses out there. And, uh, you know, we, we're digging that uh, you're out there grooving with us, uh, growling with us, prowling with us. And in that context, uh, let's go take a look at GATX for one of the tigers out there uh, on YouTube right now. So uh, this is this company here leases, operates, manages, manages long, uh, let's see, the rail and marine markets. Okay, so the low... Is eighty? It's fifty dollars. The high is eighty six. This baby. Okay, so you, you, you're at the lower end of a consolidation. Okay, so so this has been consolidating since March. Now the cool thing is, is that what you're going to see here, the first leg down in March had uh, five hundred twenty four thousand. Then you tested it with 541. You tested it again with 436. Now, this is where it's going to get real interesting. That was in the whole month of March. And then what do, you, what do you end up doing? Okay, we come down and we tested yesterday with 273,000. So the 273 is testing 599, is testing 436, is testing 527. Now, when you get something like this, most times this would be a buy. What you don't have here is that when, when, you, when I'm looking at consolidation, what, what you're looking for is that this would be saying that it wants to go higher. So number one, it wants to go higher. What we don't have, though, is the top of the consolidation, you don't have bigger bars. It, they, it loses strength at, at $59 also. So most of the time, what I like to do is this, is that you wouldn't buy it here. You're going to wait for a sign of strength. And a sign of strength would be wide price spread, accelerated volume so that you know that there are buyers in the equity then you would buy the next time down because this you know until you get a sign of strength this is saying that you know yes it's consolidating and the, and the consolidation is not a bad consolidation I mean it's all a 12 point consolidation but that's kind of how that sets up so I'd wait that out that you get a sign of strength and and don't freak out when you get a sign of strength that you think that you're gonna miss the stock most time what, what happens is that you get the sign of strength and then you'll get a pullback, and that'll be on lighter volume. Okay, we got another tiger out there on YouTube that wants to look at uh, Great Panther. And what you have with Great Panther here, I believe that they're doing a secondary. Uh, this baby had pushed out. Uh, let's see, I gotta find this secondary. That's what's going on with this, though. They're gonna be doing a secondary, I believe, at 40 cents. So what you have here is that uh, you, had, you had the equity that's higher, you pushed down. 
Um, yeah, this is a classic, meaning that if you're looking to buy it, yeah, you know, the secondary, I believe, is going to be at 40 cents. Uh, what you do have here, though, is that you have that strength that was established out there on the 14th, and then that would be higher price. That's how that kind of sh sh shakes out. Uh, secondaries um, are problems. Uh, the, the, the cool thing is that you know what the number is on the secondary uh, as, as you're going forward. So, you know, that, that's, not the end, that's not the end of the world. Uh, what, what, you, uh, what you also do know is that silver is on fire right now. When silver goes on fire, folks, okay, uh, you can get some real fireworks because what tends to happen is that it's a market that's highly shotted. Uh, you can see you got like an 87 cent move on something that was sixteen dollars this morning. Okay, it's it's a monster number. You have the confirmation because of the way that the silver equities have done ABC structures on the way up. They're blowing out their B points. They have volume behind the move. In fact, let me go look at SLV. Yeah, that's 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 a no brainer. This is the so this is cool. This is a big ABC up. So your B point is fourteen seventy. Your A. It's ten, so you get four bucks, which gets you seventeen fifty five. So seventeen sixty nine is your swing high out here. Seventeen fifty five is is the number that it's going after. Uh, what I expect we're going to see out here right now. You got to remember something going um, coming into next week. Uh, what we're going to have is that that's Memorial Day week. You have the. It's going to be a full week, however. Uh, so what I expect we're going to see is that you'll you'll. Get good volumes at the beginning of the week. Friday, those volumes are going to die off. Monday is a day off. Um, you know, so we'll see where they can basically move this market. What does happen in the summer, and we'll see whether then that's really basically, even though June 21st, the first day of summer, realistically, in the past, okay, you'd come into Memorial Day, and that's when everyone is heading, whether it's to the Hamptons, whether it's to the Cape, you know, if you're in the Midwest, whether it's to lakes, you're in California, whether it's the beaches, um, we're not going to have that this year. Uh, you know, uh, that 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 that's the bottom line here. That's how that's how this baby is is set up this year. So we'll see. We know just from being in this business that there's many more people in the on their computers in the business listening to all streams, including TFNN. So there are more market participants in the market right now that's for sure i mean there's uh you know the the, the growth is it, it, you can see that you can see the growth in the broker dealer business folks okay uh the growth has been substantial they're talking about you know schwab td ameritrade uh the numbers are up by 25 to 35 percent the amount of count, accounts that are being opened this year versus last year you know, so the bottom line is that uh, uh, online streaming, uh, all of the above, uh, is out there and uh, in, it's out there in spades. We're going to take a look at the uh, big kings. And, you know, they basically went sideways today. You know, uh, Amazon's up 12 bucks, but that's a sideways move. Uh, Google, we take a look at Google out here. Uh, Google up 14 bucks. Uh, Apple has been the drag today on the. Uh, NDX 100, uh, Apple right now uh, down two bucks. Apple's 307. Uh, it was down, uh, to, you know, it was about down seven dollars earlier. Um, doesn't have any juice in it, you know. Bottom line, you, you're coming right into the downdraft. It made it up into that downdraft and then just gave it up in spades. And if we take a look at this on a weekly basis, what you're going to have set up on a weekly basis uh, is you get a nice doji and you're going to have a failure in price and a failure in volume in Apple. Uh, you're also going to have, we, if, if this is pretty cool, we can do this right now, actually. This is cool how this is set up. We can do the weeklies. So in the weeklies, what you're going to see is that you get a lot of uh, basically not so much failures as they, let's say, yeah, yeah, they're basically failures. The S&P got over 288. Uh, it needed 1.5 billion shares. You're going to have uh, all of five. You're going to have one third of the shares. You're going to close under the price. Uh, pretty intense. The, and then the strongest indice, meaning the Qs, the NDX 100, this one's really intriguing because I think this is setting up a monster doji. It is. So if you happen to be in candlestick charting, this is a monster doji. It's a, when we do the price and volume, it's definitely a failure. Uh, you, you're coming into uh, 543.
uh, million versus uh, 243. So you're getting up to that area with one half of the volume. Dow, Dow Industrials right now uh, up 27, Nasdaq's up 50, S&P's are up 5, we'll come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, an essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionics, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 35, Nasdaq's up 56, S&Ps are up 6.5. Let's go... Uh, uh, VGZ. We have a couple more questions uh, for the YouTuber out here. Uh, bottom line is the powerhouse. This is Vista Gold. I happen to own Vista Gold. Uh, you had, uh, we had uh, Fred on a couple weeks ago. In fact, uh, just for an update, this coming Wednesday, folks, Rob McEwen's going to be on at 315 from McEwen Mining. So this baby here, uh, you already got an ABC structure up to 85. That's a confirmed ABC structure. Now it looks like it's building a much larger one. Or more than likely, you, you get the power coming behind us today. We'll see if it can take out the 82 cents. If it takes out the 82 cents, you get an additional ABC structure up. That's about 24 cents. that will take you almost up to the uh, dollar area. Harmony. We take a look at Harmony Gold, uh, where Harmony's making its money, folks. The bottom line: this is they do bid, they get paid in rand dollar, they get paid in U.S. dollars, and their expenses are in rand dollars. Uh, this has been a, a good equity. Uh, it's been you know off the bottom in spades. Uh, now it's making its way to the top of the consolidation. The top of this consolidation is like four dollars and sixteen cents. And I expect what you're going to see is that uh, that's going to continue running up that way because um, whether if you're doing uh, mining right now in South Africa, Australia, 
Mexico, because of the, you got to remember something in the mining business, they all get paid in good old king dollar. Their currencies have basically gone down dramatically. They pay their expenses in the currency they're doing business in. When you start looking at the Aussie dollar, which is 65 cents to the dollar, when you look at the Rand dollar, which I believe is about 18, 19 uh, to one US dollar, those, those numbers are unbelievable. Yeah, 18.60. Uh, so you can see why uh, the gold in those currencies are at all time highs. Uh, and it doesn't look like it's going to stop because the only way it can actually stop, uh, I, the gold market here in US dollars is running in a big way. Silver is running in a big way. And the real question is, is uh, if our dollar falls apart, then yes, their dollar, you know, will get stronger. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows and whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it and fly with it. Everything you need is right inside you, man. You might as well have a blast with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great weekend, safe weekend. Come back and visit us. 8.30, Tommy kicks us off. Outstanding show.